This toy crane has an interesting motor effect. Watch. As you can see, the motor operates in two directions depending on the position of the switch, which causes current to flow in opposite directions through the motor. I want to control this crane with my computer. In a previous project, I developed a sketch and processing which controls Arduino pins to light LEDs. I can use it here too. How does it work, you ask? Clicking on the yellow square cycles Arduino pin 13. Clicking on red cycles pin 12. To operate the crane via an Arduino from my computer, here's the interface circuit schematic that I designed. Since I don't want to short the Arduino, I put in transistors and resistors to isolate the digital output ports from the crane motor. Why transistors and resistors? Transistors have magical genies, aka electron holes, to do switching sorcery. Resistors have no genies. Instead, they confuse electrons with tiny garden mazes. Enough theory. Let's add juice. As you can see, the power current flow to the motor is blocked by the transistors, which are off. But if I click the red square on the computer screen, pin 12 goes high. Current flows into the respective transistors, causing them to turn on. Now the current passes through the first on transistor, to the motor, to the second on transistor, to ground, completing the circuit. Note the direction of the current through the motor. OK, now let's click the yellow square on the computer screen, which sets pin 13 on the Arduino high. That turns on the other two transistors. Again, the power current passes through the first on transistor, to the motor again, but this time from the opposite end. Then we go through the motor to the second on transistor, down to ground, completing the circuit. Notice this time the current is running in the opposite direction through the motor. That causes the motor to run in the opposite direction too. Before we go on, some random thoughts about the schematic. First, I didn't show return currents to the Arduino because they would have cluttered the diagram. And second, electricity is neither green nor red. So it's okay to use invisible electricity maybe even recommended. All right, here's the interface circuit in real life. We got our Arduino, we got our breadboard with resistors and transistors, we got our crane. I click and nothing happens. I could show you video, but take my word for it. It's the same as this picture. So I had to troubleshoot. I went over every connection, swapped components, rearranged circuitry, even added a third battery. Finally, I thought to downgrade the resistors. You see, I was using 1K ohm resistors because they're recommended by the Arduino.cc site to keep your digital output pins from shorting. But since I already have a transistor in line, maybe I don't need to worry about shorts that much. So I replaced the 1Ks with 220s. Now, according to Ohm's law, current is inversely proportional to resistance. So one-fifth the resistance means five times the current. Since for a transistor, the collector current is proportional to base current, it goes up too, which means more current for the motor. If this doesn't make sense, ask a transistor genie. Well, I got my new resistors in, so let's give it a shot. Yes! Okay, so where do we go with this? Well, here's one design concept for a teleoperated mining robot. As you can see, there's a shovel in front. It has to go up and down. The skills learned from this toy crane are applicable to such bigger projects, though of course there's still a long ways to go. Please visit my blog at engineerzero.wordpress.com and thanks for watching.